You want me to come with you? You already got your bag packed? Liza got some pretty good hits in, didn't she? Well, we gave her some great material. Yeah, we did. Look, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not looking good. It really isn't. If the jury comes back with a guilty verdict and you go into prison, I mean, I just, I can't, I can't let that happen, okay? That's why you gotta let me take you someplace safe until I find Pearson, get him to admit that David killed himself to frame me. You want me to go into hiding? Yes. That's exactly what I want you to do. You talking up family? Who the hell are you kidding? Asher, this is not the time or place. John, stop the camera. When would be a good time? When would be the perfect time to admit that you're a killer? You should still be in the hospital. You and my mom were in that mine together. Only one person came out. You dumped me off and then went into hiding. Is that what an innocent man would do? Asher, your mother's death was an accident. Is that what he told you? He got rid of her. Just like he got rid of me. Ignored me since the day that I was born. Because I reminded him of what he did. But I'm here now, Dad. Smile. This is our big reunion. Asher, you and your dad, you should have this reunion, but you should have it privately. No. I think right now is a great time. In fact, I think we'd all like to hear. Isn't that right? Caleb? No comment. Thank you. Bianca and the girls are teaching Spike and Ian how to feed peppermint to a horse. Oh, that's nice. Beats getting a call from reporters about how I run fusion with my partner behind bars. Jury's still out. Yeah, and the press has already convicted her. Well, now Ryan knows it's a setup, so he's not going to stop until Greeny's cleared. Yeah, but what if Ryan can't get to the witness in time? Or, or what if he doesn't talk? What if you let Ryan fix it? You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> What if the jury comes back with a guilty verdict while I'm, you know, holed up somewhere? Well, then at least you're not going to be in prison. Then I'd be an escaped felon. Only until I prove that you're innocent, then they're going to have to drop the charges. Until then? Fugitive. Hey, if you're not up for this. I'm holding the bag, aren't I? So then what's the problem? The problem is, I'm not very good at hiding. Well, don't worry, I'll find you a good spot. No, forget it. If this Pearson guy is my last chance for freedom, then we're finding him together. No. John. You come slamming into my office. Stop the camera now. The camera operator. I think I'll so Is this the kind of career you want? Chandlers. I think you want to be branded with a reputation in, in tabloid garbage? Or do you want a career as a respected journalist with a national audience? I can do that for you. I can. You just have to be smart enough to make the right choice. Please come down. Let's go. We're out of here. You're not giving up a story this big. This is great stuff. Let's go. That's fine. The news crew might be gone. But your secret's out. And you're planning to humiliate me, my family, my company? It all just blew up in your face. Sure. Go ahead. I've got this. No, I'd rather stay. No, please. I've been waiting a long time for this. You realize he's just going to manipulate you. 
better than being ignored for a lifetime. But you don't get to ignore me anymore. Do you even know me? Like I would really let you stash me away? Look, we don't even know this guy, right? We don't know him at all. We don't know how dangerous he is. Well, then it's a good thing I'll be covering your back. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. I am not putting you at risk, okay? I'm on my way to being a convicted murderer. I can handle a little risk. In fact, why don't you stay here and I'll go? That's insane. What, because you're the man? Because David is after me. Only because of me. Which makes us even in some weird cosmic math sort of way. Which means we're in this together whether you like it or not. Cosmic math, huh? When do we leave? Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And last year I was... I was on the run. Well, that's all in the past now, isn't it? Yeah. This year, I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate you and me and Spike and Ian and all of us being home again. I want as many people as the house will hold. Yeah, I mean, you gave me a big turkey. You did. You gave me a very large turkey. And <laughs> I'm going to have dressing and stuffing. And what's the difference between that? Is there a difference? I, I don't know if there is one. Um, but yeah, then we're going to have the kids' table and the adult table. It's going to be fun. And we're going to have pies. We're going to have pumpkin and pecan and mincemeat. And what is mincemeat? Does anybody ever eat that? I, Do I don't that? know. I, I have, but it ends up with the fruitcake usually. <laughs> Oh, well, don't even get me started on Christmas. I want the biggest tree we can find. Of course you do. You do. <sighs> Hello? Um, actually, no, it's not a good time. Okay. I'll be right there. Who's that? Ryan. Sounded serious. Did you see the look on Caleb's face? It doesn't matter if you didn't. I think I saw the cameraman zooming in for a close-up. Um, I saw his face, and if I were you, I would be really, really careful. But there's no need to. He's going down. Uh, I need to take this. Hello? If I had known you were my son... You would have what? Wrapped your arms around me, cried like a baby, told me how much you loved me, thought of me. I don't know. Perfect. It's confusing. Yeah, I'm not confused at all. After all this time, why didn't you just come to me and tell me? I mean, you come at me from every direction. You break into my house, you hit me over the head. Why didn't you just come to me and tell me who you were? We're nothing to each other. You made sure of that. So what? You're just gonna sit on the secret? I was waiting. For what? This. The look on your face. That's what I was waiting for. For you to feel how I've felt my entire life. What did Ryan want? Well, he needed to see me at the penthouse. I don't know, something about Spike. It's probably just Thanksgiving logistics. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Lavery has more on his mind right now than turkey. Yeah, well, maybe he does. But Thanksgiving is around the corner and plans need to be made. And I promise you this will be the best Thanksgiving ever. I'm counting on it. Okay, I'm going to take care of this and then I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. So I'm going to take care of this, and then I'll be right back. Wait, 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 where are you going? Well, I'm going to go see my father. I'm not just going to vanish on him. Okay, well, will you be careful, please? Because the last thing we need is for him to figure out that you're about to take off. I'm not going to give anything away. But we don't know how long this will take to play out. We have to find a guy who doesn't want to be found, and then we have to convince him to admit things he doesn't want to admit. And do it in person or on tape. Not exactly one, two, three, click our heels, we're back in Pine Valley. Okay, all right. Well, we'll get this done. I promise you we will. I love your confidence, but just in case. I need to see my father. I need to kiss him and hug him and tell him I love him. And memorize that smile of his because I don't know if I'll ever see it again. 
I am offering you full access to my life. Interviews, of course, but I mean cameras in my office, cameras in my home. If I don't air this footage. Yes. And I'm sure you realize that I'm also planning a wedding. So this will be the coup of the century. Exclusive coverage. Exclusive. So are we agreed? You're a hard woman to say no to. Uh, so I've been told. Thank you. Okay, then. So call me and uh, we will set up a time for the first interview. I will. Thank you. For what did you just barter away our private life? For Caleb. For Caleb? Yes. Oh, Jack. You know that there's a new young man in town. Um, his name is Asher Pike. Anyhow, it turns out that he's Caleb's son. A son that Caleb gave away at birth. What? I know, I know. It sounds like a movie. But in any case, Asher confronted Caleb right in front of that reporter and a cameraman. I see. So to bury it, you're giving full access to your life. Yes. Which is also my life. Well, I had no choice. Obviously, neither do I. So let me see if I got this right. You've traded away my privacy to keep Caleb's dirty laundry from being broadcast. Jack, the last thing Caleb needs right now is to have the media dealing with his personal drama. Yeah, but what about what I need, huh? I've got a daughter on trial for murder. I'm scrambling to protect her, and you invite the whole world in to watch? What the hell are you thinking? Uh, that was Ryan. He needs to see me. I'm sorry to leave you in the middle of this mess. No, no, no. no. I've, I've got it covered. You seem a little too happy about this. Well, I couldn't have scripted it better myself. Grizzly Adams being eviscerated by his own son? If it backs him off us, all the better. Keep me posted. Yeah. So I'm nothing but trash to you, then. Hmm? I don't even know you. Exactly. I thought I was doing what was best for you. What, by dumping me off? There were reasons. You couldn't even be bothered. <laughs> so that's it. I don't know what to say. Fine. Say nothing. But I know that you killed my mother. I'm not letting you get away with that. You don't know all the facts. 